Merci en tout cas, c'est un vrai bonheur. So tout de suite. We begin this session now with looking at the diplomatic action of the year. L'action diplomatique de l'année, we had a good example today. On a eu un exemple extraordinaire aujourd'hui. Hein? Absolutely, and what you will see here is uh, proceeding from the same logic. Voilà, c'est exactement de la même façon, donc je vous propose de regarder les nominés. The first nominee is the International School Sport Federation. One of the best actions of the year included during the ISF table tennis tournament in Israel, 298 school athletes from 16 countries competed in one of the most controversial areas of the world. Joined by Peace and Sport IDSDP white card campaign and two school athletes proposed to actually take the picture of them during a cultural trip at the border of the four countries, Israel, Jordan, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia. This white card photo was taken on this, on this frontier by these youth to remind us all that sport is about peace, tolerance, passion, unity, and greatness. Oh. International School Sport Federation. Amori Sport Organization at Utah Beach. At the end of the first étape du Tour de France 2016, les coureurs et de nombreux dirigeants politiques ont déposé des roses. Vous le voyez, c'est pour rendre hommage, bien entendu, vous l'avez compris, sur cette plage où le 6 juin 1944, énormément de monde pour sauver justement notre monde, eh bien, sont venus y périr. Amaury Sport Organisation, during the 2016 Tour de France, no matter which origin you are from, we shall all be united facing global conflicts. And the third nominee is Walk for Truce. Starting from the host city of the 2018 Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires, Lord Michael Bates walked 3,025 kilometers to the host city of the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. He left on the 6th of April, and he arrived on the 31st of July, the day the Olympic truce was signed. Walk for truce. And to give us the name of the winner, it's a pleasure to welcome here to stage uh, Narcisa Georgeta Likusanu, who is a member of the jury. Thank you. Hello, Thank you very much. Hello again. Hello again. Thank you. And you have the name, Stress. please, of the winner. Do you want to know? Yes. <laughs> Joel wants to know. <laughs> With the microphone, oh, Joel. Yes, of course. International School Federation. Oh, International wow. School Federation. Congratulations. Laurent Pitinka, who is the president, with uh, Devena Lukasinovic, uh, chairman of the youth. Uh, Council, welcome. Bienvenue. Ici, the International hey, my School mates. Federation. The <laughs> pupils, they're taking care of all, a lot of children Congratulations. Congratulations. around the world having sports for school. Congratulations again. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you have the price. Félicitations. Yes, c'est ça. Merci. Go together. Go together. Thank you. Just a few words to explain our story with Peace and Sport. It was two, two years ago when we met uh, Joël uh, and um, talking about School Sport Federation with gather more than 90 countries in the world. And uh, Joël asked me, and you in the International School Sport Federation, what are you doing for peace? And I must admit that this question was very hard for me because uh, at this time we did not so much. We decided to do three things. First thing, we changed our status. It's not so easy to change the status in the Federation, so we put the word of peace, and now the commitment of the International School Sport Federation is to promote peace in all the events. We have more than 20 World School Championships in the world. 
Second point, we decided to uh, implement uh, the operation, the white card all over the world. This is one example that we saw. And then we created the Youth Council to give the power to the, the young generation. And we have the chairwoman of the Youth Council, Nevena is with me. So the action that we saw was the, the shown of the white card at the border of uh, Jordan, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Israel, explaining the youth from a story from the youth, because they, it was their proposal to organize this, explaining the situation of the country, the situation of uh, the politics at this time. And we must admit that uh, there is one message that youth give you, is that they are, they are willing the peace. They are fighting for peace. So game on for peace and game, game on for youth. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you. Congratulations. Great. Now it's time to see your votes. Voici la fondation de l'année. This is the foundation of the year. And we invite Olivier Bischoff to join us for this presentation. Olivier is here? Yes. Here are the nominees. Agitos Foundation is the first nominee. Since uh, 2012, la Fondation Agitos travaille auprès des différentes personnes des activités sportives en faveur des personnes en situation de handicap. Et vous l'avez vu sur ces, sur ces actions, sur ces photos, et notamment c'était lors des Jeux paralympiques, il y avait énormément. 650 000 ont mis aside les International Organization Sports for Disabled. So they've been working on 2,5 millions d'euros, have financed 126 projects. Our second nominee is the Norwegian Refugee Council. The Norwegian Refugee Council provides assistance to displaced people. It works across 30 countries, organizing projects related to giving shelter and youth education. They also provide counsel and legal assistance and camp management services. They train in vocational and life skills to help refugees aged 16 to 32 years old. Norwegian Refugee Council providing sport activities for Syrian refugees in Jordan, and over 3,200 young people have been enrolled in the program. And the last uh, nominee is uh, a Right to Dream Academy. La Fondation ouvre la voie au futur modèle africain. L'Académie forme et apprend aux enfants à devenir des athlètes professionnels. Mais également, Bonne personne, vous le voyez avec euh, ce programme global de sport, bien entendu, et de formation. Un partenariat avec euh, le FC Nordjylland, puisque c'est un, une association, une fondation qui est suivie au Ghana. Those are three great nominees, but let's see what you chose. Alors. To see the result, oh, you have there, is, has there is a result. But to see the result, I think it's technically, we have, on est prêt, are we ready to see the votes? De un, let's see the votes. Here are the votes. And now confirm. Looks like we right confirm right avec, uh, confirm. And the winner is right to dream. Right oh. to dream, well, we have it. So these are the votes, these are your votes. Ce sont vos votes. Right to Dream Academy. Right to Dream Academy from Ghana. Congratulations. Felicitations. Please stay here for one picture. Congratulations. Some words. For a few words, please. Thank you. Well, that
based on the other shortlisted organisations, I really wasn't expecting that. Uh, my uh, association with the Right to Dream um, dates back to 2004 as one of the um, one and only female coaches at the time. Fast forward today, I'm managing the Women and Girls Programme in uh, our football academy in Ghana and our Premier League club, FC Norseland in Denmark. Uh, thank you so much to the community of peace and sport. Um, it just shows that, like Right to Dream, some of us are disillusioned with the direction that football um, sometimes takes. And actually, uh, we're harnessing football for good and nurturing role models um, who are arguably the, um, you know, the most influential people in the world. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Please. Merci beaucoup. Thank, thank you. you. Keep the good work. It's great. The next prize, the jury has one prize. We call it the special jury right. prize. This is the this. one for them. And joining us from the jury will be from South Africa. Let's, let's welcome His Excellency Kurt Oysterizing. a pleasure. Before, before we see, we, you have made three nominees, and uh, we'd love to see them. Here they are. Our first is the International Academy of Sports Science and Technology. In-depth coverage of the daily life of refugee athletes ranging from the world's largest re refugee camp in Kenya, following them all the way to the historic participation at the Rio Games in 2016. By using images, in-depth background stories, and personal testimonies, the project documents, shares the broader issues relating to refugees and sport within the international sport community. The International Academy of Sports Science and Technology, our first nominee, International Ten Table Tennis uh, Federation, Switzerland. Vous avez déjà vu uh, ce projet, bien sûr. Uh, uh, cela signifie, bien entendu, que encore une fois, ils ont travaillé à l'international avec, regardez, un maximum d'enfants, maximum uh, dans différents pays, 83 pays, 83 countries were involved in that program. And a lot of... Uh, Material furniture by the International Table Tennis Federation. This is our second nominee. <laughs> International Tennis Table Tennis Federation, very, very active. 196 event in 83 countries, as I said. and Rugby Sin Fronteras from Argentina. They put a simple message on posters all about respect. I respect, and they distribute it all throughout the country, gained mass media, all about respectful society, and spreading that message to 20 TV stations, 80 magazines, and many, many other digital platforms across the country, reaching over 100,000 youth in the process. Those simple words I respect. Ruby Sin Fronteras. Gets, we'd love uh, to know who is the winner. Thank you, Joel. Uh, the winner is International Academy of Sports Science and Technology. AISTS. AISTS from uh, Switzerland. And I know this uh, academy. They work, they work a lot. They sure do. Yes. Congratulations. Well done. The IATS winner of uh, this award. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. That's so great. So great. The winner of the special jury prize. Who wants to, who wants to say a word? The lady. 
game go. Wow, thank you so much. It's really an honor to be here, and I want to thank the Peace and Sport Foundation just for including us in this process, and of course, my team that has brought this from a humble idea to where we are today. But really, I feel like we shouldn't be the ones on stage. It's the athletes and the refugees that we got to know and their determination and hard work and the circumstances that they've overcome. And being a part of their lives, uh, we really feel an obligation to share their stories, which are about understanding and tolerance and acceptance, which I believe are qualities in promoting peace. So I think that this is for those refugees, mm -hmm. for their families, their coaches, and the humanitarians that work in the field with them every day. So this is for the, the refugees. Whoa, nice. Bravo. Congratulations. Thank you. Merci. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you, Gerd. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gerd. Thank you. Oh, boy. We're not far from, uh, from the end. They were uh, at the Sportel. There were a special moment because sure of the sport, uh, Sportel here in Monaco. Another award was given to uh, Peace and Sport. And we can uh, maybe see that, uh, maybe we, we, can t we can talk about that, uh, that prize, Joel, because it was a real, a real good prize made by the professionals of, yeah. of TV sport. It's a, it's a prize for a documentary, the best documentary, and it's awarded uh, by Sportel uh, and Peace and Sport within the Sportel uh, frame, uh, but uh, presented here tonight. And it is presented. So let's have, let's see this video. خلي كل العالم تعرف إنه في واحدة اسمها مرح زحالكة بتمثل فلسطين. Speed sisters. Can't wait to see that one. Yes, exactly. It was a great, great event. Unfortunately, they couldn't be with us, but uh, we would love to have them once, maybe next year, so yeah. next forum. So we try to uh, to have them uh, next forum with us. Well, this comes to, to an end, because there is always an end. Tomorrow, there will be still panelists. We'll go to digital. we go to several uh, other examples that can help peace. So we have to make a conclusion. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Charmaine. Thank you for presenting the awards tonight. My it was great. You are a great team. Um, everybody has been uh, able to see tonight uh, that peace is growing, peace through sport is growing. There are a lot of ways, uh, depending on all the awards you have seen, there are a lot of ways to put and to push uh, peace together through sport on the ground. And uh, this uh, force is growing every year. And you can see the progress which has been made uh, with the awards between uh, even last year and this year. So let's continue all together. Everybody is important. Every initiative uh, on the ground has to be, uh, deserves to be presented. And uh, for sure, they are winners, but all the contenders have been uh, excellent. And uh, have a good night. And we continue tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank this you, Joel. <laughs> this is not over. This is not over. We just need just a few minutes. We will have a show, which is a surprise, just behind, just after this. But I would love all the winners to come back with that trophy. All the winners for a photo together with that trophy, please. Winners first, all the winners with a trophy, please. Back, back to the stage. Thank you. Together with Joel for one photo. Take off, take off your credential. Take off your credential because for the photo is much better, right? And be together. Be, be together. Be, be together. Right in the middle. There's, there's some space here, please. We have to have you close. Okay. 
after, after. We took pictures. This is the first picture That's to conclude That's with the winners of uh, this year's award. Congratulations. Let's put the trophy up. Put the trophy yes, up. Yes, put the trophy up. Let's put up. There we go. There we go. That's oh, great. here they are. Yes, they were celebrating. The winners of this year, the laureates of 2016. And I will ask now all the jury members, all the jury members, the members of the jury, and the one who helped us to give the awards. Mr. Lemke, Mr. Sassian, please come. Love all the jury members plus the one who helped us for the awards. Get, get, get in front, more in front, and, and together. The men, the men, the tall ones behind. There you go. Get in front. Thank you very much. Merci. Enjoy your evening. Merci à vous. Hold. Hold. It's not over. It's not over. Hold. Stay with us. We have to leave the floor, please. Thank you. Merci. Hold. Stay, 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 please. Stay in the room. Stay seated. Now we will have the last show. The last show, Joel, is to remind, remind us that we were in Rio not long ago, but this is an art. This is a dance. And this is also a sport. Here comes the capoeirist. Capoeira. Thank you. Now we have to go down. Because when they come, they come fast.
Le capoeiriste, la capoeira. Merci. Obrigado. Merci à toutes et à tous. Passez une excellente fin de soirée. Have a wonderful night here in Monaco. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. sharp for the first panel. À 9h précise pour le premier, premier des débats demain sur le digital. Merci. Bonne soirée. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>